Hello and welcome back to Dungeons and Dragons Ravenloft Part 2 The Stone Prophet. When we last left off, um, we died a lot. And it wasn't fun or funny. Um, I've also learned a very good use for the Detect Enemy wand, which is to track the freak out of Anctopot. Because you want to annoy him enough that he follows you, but not get close enough that he can do his death touch ability. You know, like that. Okay. Let's see, maybe we have to stand on the other side of this. So you gonna continue coming over? I just threw my dagger into a portal. <laughs> Actually, that's impressive that the game kind of figured that out. <laughs> Okay, maybe that'll bring all of us there, now that we're all in the same... <laughs> what the? There's nothing for them now to, but to destroy each other, yet by the look of things we should leave, and quickly. Yeah, probably a good thing. Flee! Whew. Well, I've lost my dagger. That is annoying, but I will take it. Especially since this is the end of the game, and I don't really have to worry about um, things like that anymore. Okay. So, okay. I retreats to, uh, teleport key 48. For the desert map on page 15 for... While Anctopot and the Hierophant are engaged in battle, the Wall of Ra falls. Wall of Ra is under Anctopot's control, but he needs all of his will and strength to oppose the Hierophant. Only a short time remains which the party may find the Scroll of Return and leave Harakir forever. So, I need to go... Uh... Yeah. Um, do east, yep. Let's avoid the man scorpions. Oh, north of here. A short sword of quickness, that would have been useful. Some lock picks. Anything else? Uh oh. Somewhere within the formal wall of Ra, we'll find an item. Huh. 
Hopefully. Say scroll of return. So let's heal up Procteur as well, just in case. Maybe further south we'll find... Oh! The scroll of Return. The magic... Er, this magic is our chance, and there's not a moment to waste. We'll use it now. Absolutely! Pretty sure there should be an ending here. Cutscene? Cinematic? Anything more than just a black screen would be nice. Come on, game. Oh, have you got to be... Ah! Kidding me. Hopefully, take two will work. Want to head due east. There it is. The magic is our, er, our last chance. There might not be a moment to waste. We'll use it now. And scene? Well, it wouldn't be a DOS game without something messing up. I don't know why the final cutscene doesn't uh, play. Um, I'll link to everyone a uh, video and a timestamp of the final cutscene. And yeah, this is anticlimactic. <laughs> But that was Dungeons and Dragons, the Stone or Ravenloft Part Two, the Stone Prophet. Um, I haven't really played much of Strahd's Possession, um, and I probably should. And um, yeah, otherwise, um, I really like this game. I like the fact that um, uh, most of your companions, you can well at least. Three of the companions you can get are non-human, um, or at least non-humanoid. Um, actually, I think all the rest of them are human. Um, and um, no, no, one is uh, a half elf. Sorry, um, I'm just overthinking. Um, I like the setting. Um, I like the fact that it's not marching through, you know, the German countryside like, uh, most, uh, high fantasy games are. Um, and yeah, the Egyptian theme, 
gave it a, a bit of a unique flair to it. Um, is it a perfect game? No. Um, as soon as you learn the ability to teleport, the amount of uh, game you can skip is absolutely legendary. And if you have a thief with a really good dexterity, um, there's no need for keys at all in this game. Um, so, yeah, uh, having a uh, wizard, thief, and uh, cleric, full cleric, really allows you to abuse the hell out of the game. Um, so, next, uh, I'm going to do another DOS game. Um, uh, I was going to do a different game, but I'm thinking better of it. And, um, yeah, uh, I'll definitely link a, um, a video with the actual ending on it. It'll be on someone else's channel. Um, and, yeah, uh, when we come back, something different. But I hope you all had fun, and see you next time.